What's good YouTube and today we're back with another video and today I'm teaching you a lot of game I'm teaching you like how to trade effectively using the Fibonacci tool So let's go straight into my computer and let's see how this works Let's go Okay so as you can see on my screen we have a blank screen at the moment And I'm going to quickly show you how to use this tool and where to find it So before that let's just pretend that we've got Let's, let's pretend that we, we've got a chart here And... We've been consolidating, let's say, right? And then we see a giant push to the upside, right? And we start seeing price going down, right? So this is where we can use the Fibonacci retracement tool. So you don't really need to know exactly what it is, but in simple terms, it's just the perfect way to find a retracement. I wouldn't go into detail on what Fibonacci is and everything, because at this moment of time, you would not need to know what it is. All you need to know is how to use it. So for me to tell you what it is, is kind of unnecessary. On the third one, you just click and then you find the Fibonacci retracement tool and you just click from, so if we're on an uptrend, you click from the bottom all the way to the highest point. Before we get into what it is, let me just show you the settings. So this is my settings. You can copy my settings and use this for your charts. So as you can see, we've got, let's just see how we use it. So as you can see, I placed it on the lowest point of the chart to all the way to the highest point and what we're looking for is we're looking for price to hit one of these levels so as you can see this is where supports and resistance if you haven't seen my supports and resistance level uh, video please check that out because this is where you can use this so if you see we can we can use this as a support and resistance. So this is our, this was our resistance and it's turned into support. So we can say that I am, we can predict that price is gonna go all the way down to here and then go all the way up to one of my take profits. So let's just say for example here, right? So what we're looking for is that price is coming to one of these fibs. It can, don't, don't get me wrong, it can get to one of these levels, but the higher the chance, the chances are that it will go to one of your resistance. So the Fibonacci tool is not there for you to just use on its own. You can use it with moving averages, support and resistance, with price action. It's just an indicator to show you where price could go and where you can, where, it's like a prediction of where price can be going. So as you can see, I'm saying that price is gonna go all the way down to here. So when it gets to one of my levels and I see a very strong rejection to these levels, for example, let's just say over here, I would go and place a buy so a long position buy at this point i'd keep my support as this is kind of like a sniper entry so i'll keep my support just a little bit low below um the, the line and i keep my take profits at one of these levels obviously if your sub, uh, if your next resistance was somewhere around here yes to be on the safe side i would just stick to the tw minus 27 but obviously if you do want to do it you can put your take profit all the way at your next um, resistance but as you can see I'll just put it here take my profits and leave and you can see you've got a 1 to 9 ratio which is perfect for your trading and you're going to start to see that your win percentages will increase dramatically when you start using this Fibonacci tool your win percentage will be going up significantly high let's do the same thing but let's say we are now consolidating here, right? And then we see a nice push all the way to the downside and price is now going up. What do we do again? We get the Fibonacci tool. As you saw, we've seen a breakout. We get the Fibonacci tool. So we go here, get the Fibonacci retracement tool. And there's this is where, I, this is a very good example. This is where I would you could do two things. You could either place your fib tool here from the highest point to the lowest point and do your retracements here. For me personally, I just like going of where the highest previous price was, so over here. It doesn't really matter, the, it doesn't matter where you put it. You can put it here or here. But me personally, I see that I get more wins when it's at its previous high, rather than looking at the highest point of the market. So this is at the previous high. We're now looking, so you can see that the 100 is now at the top and the 0 is at now at the bottom. And you can see that my tape profits are down over here. Remember, we have just seen a breakout. So again, 
I would keep my this is like a new support slash um, resistance so we're seeing that price could go all the way back to here and then make its way and make its way down all the way to my take profit it could either go there or even here so th this is the this is what could happen again I would place a short position right over here and as again as price is this is like a sniper entry I wouldn't keep it too high especially if price does go the way I see it is if price does go uh, higher than the 78 extension I would not enter this trade you have to wait for your candlesticks to close so if it closes below the 78, I will still be in the trade. But if it does close above the 78, that means that my Fib tool, I didn't use it correctly or there's something going on in the fundamental side rather than the technical side. So this is where I wouldn't place a trade. But for example, if Candlesticks does, um, it does close below the 78 extension, I'll place my take profit here. And as you can see again, we've got a 1 to 10 ratio. So once again, we're getting high profits. You and as you can see, that price could, you've got now two take profits as well. So you've got take profit one, take profit two. It's, a, it's very easy, using the Fib tool is very easy to start using your take profits, especially when you see that, especially when you see that there's been a support over here and there's another support over here. You then know that price is definitely going to be hitting one of these take profits one of these take profits because there's a res there's a support so now let's use this on a real on the real charts because right now i've just shown you that description of how it works let's let's use this on the real charts and see how we use it so as you can see i'm on the four hour chart you can use the fibonacci on any time frame you can use it on the the one minute time frame you can as you can see you can use it on the one minute time frame which is I would say it wouldn't work as well as the higher time frames as I like to use it either on the one hour the one hour or the four hour time frame normally the four hour is the best place to do it but remember the higher the time frame the longer it's going to take to reach one of your levels one of your key levels so as you can see over here we've been in a consolidation what I like to do is I like to just keep a box around this consolidation just to show you lot that okay let's do it here so as you can see, we're in a consolidation. What I'll do is, is I'll wait for a breakout. Fantastic, beautiful breakout. Look at this push. A lot of people would say that, okay, yeah, why don't you trade over here? Right now, we're looking at Fibonacci retracement. So I would personally would trade over here. As you've seen, it's a breakout. And somewhere in the 50-minute chart would have been a little retracement to the, um, down, uh, to the upside and then come back down. But while we're talking about the Fibonacci retracement, I'm just gonna wait till I see a dramatic pullback. So, as you can see, we're seeing a pullback now. I'm saying that this could be a retest to one of the areas over here. So, what I do first of all is let me just close this. Is I get my Fibonacci tool out, get the Fibonacci retracement. This time, I would place right over here at the top, the highest point of where we were, the previous high high, and go all the way to the low. As you can see over here and as you can see straight away price is at the 38.2 retracement however i have no confirmation from the candlesticks that you know price is going to come down from here yet and before i get started let's just draw in some um, support so as you can see i would say straight away that over here this level so around the 50 is a really nice support as you can see price is rejected 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 over here so you can see that price is rejected so I would say that the 50 extension will be somewhere that area is somewhere where I would like to trade so we'll just wait wait for as you can see we're waiting waiting and then boom okay cool I've seen now it's near my area I want to go on the 15 minute chart go on to my 15 minute chart I'm waiting for a confirmation again that price is going to go to the downside so we're just going as you can see price is still moving up but I'm waiting for somewhere that price can move onto the downside as you can see 
clear example, price did not like that support, um, that resistance. So we're now going to our next level. Let's have a look. I'm going to go back to the four hour chart and see because price was moving very slowly at this area. So I'm going to see if there's any more pushes to the downside. And yes, okay, cool. It's perfect. So straight away, I've seen that price has moved. Okay, straight away I can see that price has moved very nicely at the 78 extension. So what I'm going to do now is, now I'm going to go on the 15 minute chart. Price has done a huge upwards push to the 78 extension. Once again, it doesn't have to be exactly at that key level. As I told you before, it works in zones. So let's just say it was a zone over here, right? Straight away, I'm going for a, um, just wait for one more candlestick. I'm going for a sell. Reasons why I'm going for a sell is that once there's a high push in the market, I know how gold moves. Gold likes to push downwards once it's on a high. It likes to fake a lot of people out. That's how gold works, guys. And we'll place it here just to be on the safe side. We can see. I like to put my um, stop losses and my take profits on the four hour chart, but just for this example, I'll just just to make it bigger. Let's just put it here and we'll go on the four hour chart. So if we just look, so again, let's cancel this. I'm putting my stop loss just above this level here. It can, you can put, you know, your stop loss all the way up here, but personally, as I'm looking for sniper entry, this is a, this is a sniper entry. I will just put it just above here to be on the safe side. You're risking 63 pips for a massive profit all the way down to here I would this is my first take profit my second take profit would be here but I like to always go for the minus 27 because look this is a 1 to 14 ratio and let's have a look what happens to price straight away we've seen a downwards push beautiful again downwards push downwards push we can clearly see we're going down. Price is moving is moving slow. Okay, boom, push. Come on, can it hit the tape profit? It always hits the tape profit and boom. You can see, and just to confirm, because that wasn't really a strong tape profit. And we just leave. We literally just leave. We're done for the day. We've hit our profit. That was actually just before I leave it. That was uh, how many pips? 910 pips. That was 910 pips. So you've you've just cashed the 910 pips for the that that's taken I don't know how many days, but you've just hit your profit, great profit, and you're out of the charts. You can remove your fib tool and you can move on. If you have not, if you're not into the Telegram chat, I recommend you do come into it because I do send nice setups for you lot to trade in. But as you can see, let's go on a 15 minute chart really really quickly. As you can see, first of all. I'm in this trade at the moment, beautiful trade. I'm on a long term, as you can see, this is a, if I show you a lot, I'll show you this afterwards actually. But quickly, don't wanna waste your time. So over here, I saw again, a lovely setup for a fib. And I thought, let me enter. I kind of entered a bit late. And my stop loss was gigantic. But as you can see over here, price was around this zone, this 38 zone. I said, cool, I want to go for a buy. I was, uh, because I used a smaller lot size, I let I made sure that my stop loss was just below this lower low because I price could have went below here and it went up. But as you can see, it hit both our take profits. And again, I put the take profit higher because I knew that this is a key level, one of my key level psychological levels. And I said, cool, it's going to hit. And as you can see, Straight away, I, I placed a buy around a 38 extension just to make sure that you know price was going in upside, and then from there we just went straight up to the upside. Beautiful cash in 86 pips, risking 57, which is not too bad, still making profit. And that was one of the setups I did send to the Telegram channel. So once again, if you have not been put into this Telegram channel, make sure you are in it. But as you can see, I use I put the hundred at the bottom. 
zero at the top, wait, waited for it to hit one of my key levels, um, this, uh, psychological levels on the FIB. Once I saw that, you know, price was going up, placed a buy and rode I literally ride it all the way to the top where it hit my stop, my take profit, and I was out. I was literally done. Um, I don't know how how long it took. I think it took, I think it took, almost. I think it took a day. It took a day to to hit. But honestly, Fib can never go wrong. I'll be real. Every time I've used the Fibonacci retracement tool, it's always worked. If it does go wrong, it's most likely because you have not placed it on the, you have not placed it right, or you've thought it was hitting the 38 but then went all the way down to the 51 because as you can see this wick did try to stop a lot of people out but you just need to make sure you know where you're keeping your stop losses and your take profits so i hope you lot enjoyed this video if you like this type of videos where i'm teaching you how to trade get your success rate from maybe 20 percent to always at 40 50 to even 80 percent continue watching like comment subscribe because it helps me a lot it lets me know that you love this kind of videos and i'll see you lot in the next video